Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here for January 1937, the Commonwealth, their turn, and also Netherlands. For the Commonwealth, for Great Britain, they're going to buy another artillery, another mountain infantry. They're going to start an escort carrier for $3. FEC is going to buy a regular infantry for $3 and save $2. Anzac's going to buy a regular infantry for $3. They're going to pay for the Commonwealth Tech Roll with $2, and then they're going to save a buck. And Canada, with its $4, is going to buy another one of these Escort Corvettes. So let's go ahead and do this Tech Roll. <clears throat> the Commonwealth is trying to get advanced ASW, so let's see if they can do that. Let's come over here to the dice tray. And for advanced ASW, we're looking for seven or higher. Oh, it's a six. So that's a fail. So now let's do some non-combat moves. Let's start down here with FEC. They're only going to have a couple. So this guy in... Benares is just going to move up here to Bengal. And let's put this guy up like that. Um, and I think um, I still don't think I really want to do anything here. Um, I got this destroyer here, this escort carrier, and the fighter in the coastal sub. I don't want those there whenever I feel like Japan's coming my way, but for now I really don't want to telegraph what's going on. Uh, Anzac doesn't have uh, anything. Um, this artillery and the infantry I just bought are eventually going to get on this transport and be delivered up here to help defend Malay, but i got to wait until next turn to do that. So that's all for the FEC. Um... Down here, uh, I do want to move uh, this transport over to here just to be with this destroyer at this naval base. Eventually going to upgrade this minor factory or start, or at least use this minor factory to start building units that can then be taken up to help defend Cairo. So this factory down here along with this transport um, will serve as the ability to get uh, units up to Cairo. Although I could, uh, if I built a, I'd have to build a rail line here and here in order to rail move them. Um, that would cost $8, so it's probably just cheaper to use this transport. Um, because with a naval base, if you look at this, with a naval base here and a factory here and naval bases, a naval base here, in Cairo here, that transport can go, actually can it? It can go one, two, three. It can't make it all the way in one turn. So it's too bad that naval base is not right here instead of here. Uh, because I believe transports only move two. Is that right? Let me look. Yeah, transports only move two. So with the naval base, they can move three. So you could go one, two, Three, um, <clears throat> and you can't even deliver. Yeah, because if you could deliver it here, then it could rail move next turn up to here. <clears throat> so I got to think about that. <clears throat> Be nice to have that naval base here, because then you could go one, two, three, and then you could go back one, two, three. Um, so yeah, that's inefficient, isn't it? Uh, so we'll have to think about that. Um, <clears throat> over here, uh, this escort corvette is going to continue. Uh, I want that escort corvette on station right here eventually so that it can provide a modifier against convoy raiding on the East African line and on the Cape Town London line. So I want to try to get it down <coughs> to Cape Town eventually. So they only move two. So he will go one, two, three, 
two and continue his journey south. Um, uh, just because we can, um, I'm going to load up this mountain infantry and this artillery on this transport. And we're going to go one, two, three from a naval base and deliver those here in Gibraltar. If you remember on my Commonwealth strategy video, I said for Great Britain, it, Gibraltar is very important strategically. So for me, the first priority with Great Britain's meager income at the start of the game is to beef up Gibraltar. And I feel like having the current militia there the fortification, the coastal gun, and two mountain infantry and two artillery there is the is the beginning of what I need to defend that. And so uh, that's what we were going to start this turn. I got another transport here that can deliver um, the other mountain infantry and the artillery next turn. Um, also, just so I don't forget, um, I'm going to go ahead and rail move this guy up to Scotland, which doesn't have anything in it. So I'll have to build more guys uh, in London eventually. But I did want to go ahead and do that. Um, and then I think that's about it, honestly. I really don't know anything else I need to do non-combat movement-wise. Again, I don't want to tip my hand um, too much. And I think that'll be good uh, for this particular turn. Oh, I forgot. This Dutch cruiser here is going to continue. Um, <clears throat> he's actually going to move through the Med. So he's trying to get down to the Dutch East Indies. So he's going to go one, two. And then I don't think you can see this, so I'll have to do this. He's going to move down here, three. So he'll be at the Dutch East Indies in two more turns. And again, they need some help down here because they know the Japanese are going to come their way eventually. Uh, so that's what they're going to do. Um, okay, let's go ahead and place units with the Commonwealth. First, our Canadian Escort Corvette will be built by this factory at this naval base right here. So we'll go ahead and put him right there. And for Great Britain, uh, we have an artillery and a mountain infantry. And those will once again be placed at the major factory in London. And then also for Great Britain, they uh, are going to start an escort carrier, so they're going to go over here and, oh man, I forgot something. Oh wow, major oops here. I didn't realize they already had an escort carrier. So what I will do is, I will move that one up um, to there. Big oops on my part. I, I've actually found... Uh, in playing this game, that I often forget about this ship and facility production chart. Even though it's right next to uh, where this is, I often forget about it. So let me pause it and think about what I want to do with that uh, other $3. You know what? We will just save that 3 bucks and maybe use it next turn to um, upgrade that factory in South Africa. Okay. Um, FEC has one guy that they've built. And they're saving $2, so they will put that guy here at the factory in Calcutta. And you know what? I guess I should have probably moved this guy up here also. So I will uh, go ahead and do that. I know that's a little retroactive, but um, I'll go ahead and do that anyway. So they saved 2 bucks. And Zach... Um, has saved a buck and they have a guy they're gonna place a regular infantry 
which they will put down here in Sydney, that miner factory. And then Canada already placed their unit and Netherlands had nothing to place and they saved their dollar. So now we collect income <clears throat> and uh, Great Britain saved three. They've got an income of 12, so they'll have a total of 15 to spend next turn. Should be good for them. They could buy a fighter and for that escort carrier and upgrade that medium factory if they wanted to. Uh, FEC saved two dollars and they have an income of five, so they'll have seven to spend. Maybe they could buy an infantry and an artillery, uh, or they could save it. Um, FEC saved a buck. Or, I'm sorry, Anzac saved a buck, and they've got three. So, they don't want to have a total of four to spend next turn. Maybe they could start a light carrier, or maybe they could buy more infantry. And then Canada has an income of two. So, they'll collect their two dollars. And Netherlands, still collecting one dollar, and they're still another turn away from having enough money to buy a colonial infantry. Uh, to help beef up the Netherlands East Indies. So that is it for the Commonwealth turn. Um, I need to check the victory conditions here. I don't believe anything has changed related to the uh, Commonwealth's victory conditions. Although let me double check that. You know what, by my count, the Commonwealth actually has five out of their six victory points. The only one they don't have is Germany and Italy within their starting borders. So I either got that wrong last time or something did change between this turn and last turn. So the Allies are 11 and Commonwealth is at five. All right, that is the Commonwealth's January 1937 turn. Hope you enjoyed. Admiral Seabass signing off.